You might have seen right in the middle, it's beautiful. Yeah, that thing is beautiful, right? That could take you to space. You might have seen right there, uh, how do we call that machine? I mean, that's amazing. But we're curious and we're excited to know what the digital future is going to hold. So uh, for our next conversation, it's about the next generation of digital luxury in the mobility sector. And for this, we're going to have from our founding partners, Mercedes, together with Google. And it's only right that I introduce you to the next speaker. You've been doing a pretty good job so far. Put your hands together to receive Aili. Hello. Are you good? Hello and a very warm welcome also from Mercedes side to the Startup Autobahn Expo Day 2023. It's amazing that we are here today and I hope you also find okay. So welcome to our fireside chat and the next generation of digital luxury and how Mercedes-Benz and Google shape the in-car experience of the future. My name is Eileen and I'm responsible for innovations and future technologies for Mercedes-Benz. And also, so listen to the startup activities we are doing in the early phase at Mercedes-Benz. So it's an honor to be with you here at the Startup Autobahn Expo Day. And innovation is the most important driver for technological progress. And innovation has always been a fundamental part of the Mercedes-Benz DNA. So our purpose is to really first move the world. This is what we always did, and this is what we will always do. We want to first move the world and be first at it. We want to change something, to give something back to the world and to society, and to move in a greener, an electric, and a software-driven and digital future. So you might ask yourself, so how is Mercedes-Benz doing innovation? I tell you, we have this kind of innovation funnel, and if we see something out there, like new technological progress, startups, ideas, companies, we try to get them in and see if this fits to us and try to bring that into the products by really pushing them through. So by really end-to-end -end comprehensive innovation process we are doing worldwide. So we invented the automobile more than 135 years ago, and it's almost our duty to really push the innovations would reinvent the world. We would like to do this, and we do this with partners. And with Startup Autobahn, we have created a strong platform like this here to combine both worlds. First, the startup mindset, and second, the comprehensive engineering expertise. This enables us to really push through, and you ask the question, what is it? It's the AVTR. And we did some more examples, like how we push really the innovation uh, limits we're having. You all know our vision, EQXX, we brought up with 1,000 kilometers on one single charge. And we actually received the first level three Mercedes-Benz Drive Pilot uh, certification in the US, in California. So we are very, very proud of the innovation process and how fast we can do, but we can always be better if we have the right partners. So dear startups, listen, if we scout uh, for innovation, we focus first on the topics what really fits to our strategy. We also, uh, of course, in interested in all the other things where really we can add value to our products and to our customers, but first for the strategy. So the decision to cooperate with one of the startups are mainly driven by three aspects. First, the strategic fit to our Mercedes-Benz strategy. Second, the majority of your projects. And third, if we can do an automotive use case out of it. So think about these three things, and I'm sure we can do something. Three of our most recent projects are here today. Uh, represented here in this area in the Wagenhallen, it's spread, it's four screen and phononic vibes. So are you here somewhere? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so thanks you for being with us. And one of you, so four screen has already implemented into our car, so we're very proud of that. So as you can see, we are working with partners hand in hand, and we are really proud on working with partners. And we do this with all kinds of partnerships. Startups, established suppliers, new and big tech players. 
And we invited today one of our recent partners we are very proud of. It's a big pl tech player, I would say. It's Google, you all know that. And we re recently announced that we're doing with Google together the next generation navigation experiences for our customers. And we've already started by offering access to initial new features provided by Google, such as place details. With this feature, our customers can get access to more than 2 million business and places around the world and detailed information, including business hours, photos, ratings, renews. And I'm certain the two people I brought with me today can explain even more about this partnership. So please give a hand, a loud hand, for the one and only two people we are bringing today. It's Michelle Hafner, Vice President of MBO Space Layer and MBUX at Mercedes-Benz, and Jürgen Behrens, Vice President and General Manager, Geo Automotive at Google. Take a seat. Good that you are here with us. So we thought it's about innovation. We thought it's about partnerships. So this thought for us, the very, very uh, reasonable way of introducing here with us. So what is your first feelings of this startup Autobot, Jürgen? So it's my first time. I'm, uh, I'm part of the second column. I do know what this event is, but I haven't been here before. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the 34 people who uh, are here for the speakers on the stage try to do our best for you. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, uh, always fantastic to feel the energy uh, that startups bring. Uh, Google Maps, the, the part of Google I work for, is a consumer product, It's a, um, but it's also a platform that um, other companies build on. Uh, millions of developers use it in, in their applications, many of them startups, and, and, and that aspect of what we do is super exciting. Perfect. Michel, your first time here at Startup Autobahn? Three or four, I'm not quite oh. sure, but um, congratulations to everyone here. Um, every startup, every idea had the chance to have a short look at a uh, few of those ideas, and it's amazing like every time. So good to have you all. Perfect. When talking about partnership, Jürgen, why did you decide cooperating with Mercedes-Benz here? I guess it's our, uh, our mission uh, to... Uh, uh, help information be dispersed and to make it universally accessible. And so in maps, we, uh, we do that with geospatial data, with uh, uh, maps of the world, with places information that help businesses promote themselves. Uh, but also, like the bread and butter of maps is really navigation. It's finding your way from A to B. In a car, on a bike, by foot, uh, in the U-Bahn. Um, but uh, yeah, for, for us, it was a, really a dream to be able to work with, with Mercedes-Benz. We highly respect the products. We, uh, yeah, we really uh, had the ambition to be part of them, and it was a great opportunity to be able to partner with you. Perfect. And how does this really fit to your broader uh, auto strategy? I, I mean, we are, we are trying to work with, uh, with the car industry. We have been doing this for actually a very long time, for about 15 years, starting with uh, providing uh, satellite imagery to be to be integrated into uh, I think the very very first customer was Audi. Uh, we um, we've created a way for Android phones to project to vehicles so people could use you know bring their ecosystem from their phone into their car. That technology has been licensed by uh, many uh, car companies. Uh, we created a automotive flavor of Android, uh, which is an open source project that everyone can use and many OEMs use um, as the base platform for their cars. Um, and then a couple of years ago, we introduced um, uh, something called Google Maps Built-in, which is a, uh, let's say, a Google-branded uh, Maps client that works on top of Android, that, that's been um, integrated by several uh, customers. But we've always, always had, um, also had opportunities for, for car companies to use our APIs directly and to bring our technology into the car in a more, uh, let's say, uh, modularized way, um, giving the opportunity to create your own user experience. And, I think the exciting thing about the partnership we built with Michael's team is that um, we, we, we kind of offer the, the guts of Google Maps, the, the, cap the, the core capabilities, the routing, the map data, uh, the traffic, uh, places search, but we don't provide the user experience. That's something that, that um, Michael's team can create entirely uh, separately. So, so it, it, you know, the experience really fits in the, in the Mercedes uh, design and in the Mercedes brand. 
Perfect. That's amazing. Michael, a big step actually to Google uh, and the partnership. Why aren't we not doing it anymore alone? And you could have done it alone? We, th we are customer driven and we always try for the best uh, for our customers. Actually, we didn't do it fully alone in the past. We always did navigation with partners. And we are always looking on who is the best fit. Uh, now, obviously, if it comes down to navigation and maps, Google is is a big is a big player is the player known in the world. So we try to find out if we have both um, common strategies, common views. Uh, we saw yes, um, we want to deliver super products to the customers about navigation. So we we thought, how do we put both worlds together? Um, and we have great ideas about it. And what do you think? What is the future of uh, navigation? What do you think? And if another player maybe um, becomes the market leader, what are we doing then? Well, um, we now have chosen Google, and we mean it. It's a strategic partnership. Um, we think that um, if we bring both strengths together, uh, Jorgen's team super educated in, in the maps, in keeping this fresh, good routing, um, many innovations um, that uh, are to come. And if we combine that with a vehicle integration that perfectly fits that navigation in, into, into a super seamless customer experience, where we both share the same, you know, this is a super product, um, we want to make that super good so there is no need to do it different. And Jürgen, um, how do you differentiate your navigation system you are doing with the uh, Google Maps experience or GAS? Is there a differentiation and what is it exactly? Well, I think the capabilities that we provide to Mercedes are the same capabilities we use in our own uh, Maps application that's part of GAS. Unfortunate name, by the way. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, the, the only thing we, we do not provide is the user experience, and that's a, that's a conscious choice that Mercedes made. I mean, we obviously would also have been very excited to work with you on that. Um, for us, the, uh, you know, we're trying to translate the, the experience that we offer consumers on the phone into the vehicle, but also make sure that we support the, uh, the vehicle's needs of, of, with other geospatial capabilities, like data that's used by autonomous driving systems or ADAS systems. Um, and, we, and we want to make sure that that experience also takes advantage of the deep vehicle integration you can do when you're actually built in. So a lot of people use Google Maps every day to, to, to navigate using their phone, maybe using projected. But once you build it into the vehicle, you can access the vehicle's energy model. You can interact with the battery. Uh, you can interact with the autonomous driving system. And so, and so you can make the user experience much better. Um, and it's really those types of use cases that we are uh, looking for. But the differentiation really is yours. It's not ours. This is really a differentiation. So, Misha, it's always the question about data. Do we share our data with Google? And if yes, how? The data? The data. Um, we talked, of course, a lot about data. And the good thing is both companies really take data policies very seriously. Um, we owe it to our customers. Um, that we respect their data, their data privacy. So before we share anything, we, we anyways would only do it with their consent and degree. Um, in this case, of course, we share data with Google, which is nothing bad as long as we fulfill the data policies of both companies. Um, and um, we make sure that the data that is shared and collected, it, it still goes through our Mercedes intelligence clouds. There is the one channel that we can all be sure that promises that we give to our customers when they buy a Mercedes-Benz that their data privacy and data policy expectations are fully met. So it's all about data privacy and how we do it. And um, what about the technology itself? Do you develop that for Mercedes-Benz only? And will you share it also for other OEMs? Or what is your plan regarding the future? Uh, well, no, we don't build it only for Mercedes-Benz. I also don't think that that's <laughs> what Mercedes-Benz would want. Um, so Google Maps is a product, meaning it's, uh, uh, it's obviously used by, m by many different customers. Actually, not just in automotive, but in other uh, industry domains, in, uh, obviously by consumers. And a lot of the software that, we'll, that we will provide is common to uh, uh, the, the kind of different applications we have in different industries. Um, there's also a lot of commonality between the software we will provide to Mercedes and what's shipping in uh, cars that use Google Automotive Services, or the built-in version of Google Maps. Um, 
and we expect that we will uh, license this uh, solution we are creating uh, together with you also to other to other OEMs. I think you always want to be a little bit on the, let's say, first and on the front foot, but also not too much alone. You know, you, you, you need to work with, um, with technologies that have scale, that uh, can uh, get feedback from users, that can improve quickly, that can benefit from the inspiration of many users, developers that tell us, you know, it would be so cool if you could do this. And it's really that ability to take ideas from different parts of our business uh, into all of our different, uh, the, all of the different uh, it's a, uh, sort of instances of our product that um, that makes Google Maps unique. But anyhow, we are very proud that we are the first one. <laughs> and Michael, um, so we talked about Google integration and what kind of customer features can the customer expect and when? Yeah, of course, it's all going to be around navigation, but we were very proud, and you gave a short glimpse um, in your introduction that we, at the moment we announced the partnership, literally in that second, we were switching in the back end that our customers could immediately enjoy, enjoy Google Places with a lot of added information values so that they find the spots that they want to find and get the relevant background information. So that was the first thing we immediately were able to give. Um, now, we are working on a super duper navigation solution which our customers will enjoy because uh, it's gonna have best of both worlds. Um, let's stay tuned. Um, we are migrating step by step into that direction. Yes, this is digital luxury, I would say, and I think we c you can all stay tuned. Is there anything you would like to give the startups here to take away just for their mindset? Anything? Yeah, I, I would. So I think uh, someone said in, uh, I, I can't remember when, but earlier on that uh, big companies are hard to access because you have to navigate their organizations, and that's true. Uh, you know, even as an employee of a big organization, it's sometimes hard to understand how to get things done and who's responsible for what. I, I'm sure some of us recognize that. Um, but I, I would say don't give up trying. So uh, big companies like Mercedes or Porsche or Google uh, benefit tremendously from interacting with smaller companies with, uh, who are, that are more agile, that have uh, completely different context and come up with very different ideas. So I would say generally don't give up, but for sure also don't give up on, on the bigger organizations as your partners. Thank you. Misha, anything? Well, I would love to add, never ever lose the customer out of your sight. It's all about customer centricity and the value that we can add with ideas. It doesn't always need to be the super billion dollar companies that come up with partnerships. Uh, partnerships can be super diverse. We heard about it um, earlier. So the best idea might win, but it needs to add value to customers. Um, so if that, is, if that is driving all of us, um, I'm sure we will have a lot of fun together. Thank you so much. And I would say this is a perfect example how a good collaboration can look like. And we are all excited how Google and Mercedes-Benz are really moving the world forward. And to all of you, thank you very much. Have a good startup Autobahn Expo Day. Enjoy, exchange, be open, keep pushing. And don't forget believing in your ideas. We say thank you so much for Mercedes-Benz and Google and wish you all the best, right? Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you so much.